It's all on Angus Gunn. Can he save it to take us through? He gone! No! <laughs> oh! He saved it! What's going on guys? My name is Adam. I am a super swan. I welcome to Club 4, episode 12 of the FM19 Brexit Manager, where Brexit means Brexit. Still top of the league, still seven points clear of Borussia Dortmund, and we've only got five games to go. We just need to make sure we don't lose too many games, and I think we could become Bundesliga champions. So we look at the schedule since you're last with us. A loss, a draw, and a win. So we've had a mixture of all three since they were last with us. We lost in the league to Hoffenheim. We went 2-0 up. And then all of a sudden, Hoffenheim decided to score three goals past us. Was not happy at all with that performance. Especially the second half. We just absolutely folded. And it was at home as well, which was more disappointing. So the away leg against Atletico Madrid... Oh, this was a roller coaster, I tell you. So Diaz got a goal in the 89th minute. I was jumping for Jaws. Like, yes, a 1 0 lead to take back to our Wolf the Volkswagen Arena. We got the away goal. And then Saul literally popped up with the goal after the kickoff. So it is 1 all going into today's home leg. But we do have that away goal to take with us. And we followed up with a 3 1 away win over Hertha Berlin. Pretty straightforward. A former player we had at Dusseldorf, Xerxes, grabbing a goal in the 86th minute, but we did all the damage pretty much before then. We had the Doc and Pavlak grabbing a double. So we are going to be going into the Atletico Madrid game today. 1 1 on aggregate, but we do have the away goal. And regardless of what happens there, we're going to go up against Stuttgart in the league to maintain our title challenge. So two big games coming today, and we're going to start off with the Atletico Madrid game at home. So we've got Gunn in goal, Damjanovic, Foyth, Verhoeven and Bozio, pretty much first choice at the back. Pavlak stays in the team after his double in the league, Diaz is going to be the Mazella. Ali, Ars and Seegers... And it's going to be the Doc starting up front. Gruber still isn't fit for the game, but I'm going to mm, I'm going to put I think Sabitzer on the bench because he can cover both flanks if we got an injury or if anybody's underperforming. So if it stays nil nil, then we will go through away goals. But we want to try and take the advantage against a very strong Atletico Madrid team. So I'm going to give an assertive, go out there and carry on from where you went in the last match. Tell them I have faith in them. And then it's all over to the boys to finish the job we started out in Madrid. It is one all. We have the away goal. We just need a home performance. And we could reach the Europa League semi-finals. 20 minutes in. Very quiet on the shot front. Atletico Madrid haven't had a single shot so far. We've only had the one on target. But if they grab a goal, it's an away goal for them. And it's pretty much all level as far as the away goes. Oh, it's a slide though. Oh. Angus Gunn, that old slide pass, almost came back to bite us. And we're going to start the move off again. Borgio to arse on that left-hand side. Beats his man, crosses it in. Mohamed Ali's there, off the post. It's, oh, it's so close. But it's not going to result in a goal. The dock with a free kick, whips it in. Cleared away as far as... Oh, 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 oh. it's arse with a goal. By the time I could even react... The ball was already at Arsenal's feet and we do grab a huge goal in the Europa League quarter-final second leg. Clear as far as Ars takes a touch, smashes it in the top of the net. We are 2-1 up on aggregate, 1-0 up on the night. Coming up to half-time, we've really limited Atletico Madrid in this game. They've only had two shots total, one shot on target. So I'm going to tell the boys they're doing very well. I'm going to give a passionate, very pleased with the performance. Seegers is on a 6.4, so he's not on the best of ratings there. So I am going to bring Sabitza on to try and freshen things up on that left-hand side. But we just need to carry on the way we're going, and we should see ourselves through to the semi-finals. Corner from Ali, 48 minutes just after the break. But Oblak does catch it, and that isn't the highlight. There is more to come from this. Who is it going to be for? Oh, Black lumps it upfield. 
but Foyth will gobble that up any day of the week. And we're going to start the move off again. Ask the goal scorer to Pavlak. Mohamed Ali, he's been a brilliant sign of the season on that right-hand side. Dribbles past all his men. Clean away as far as Diaz. Arse again outside the area. Takes a shot. It is deflected. And Atletico Madrid on the counter-attack. Alonso on the ball. On the wing. Crosses it. Oh, there's no one there. And Timo Werner grabs a goal. A German player getting an equaliser. And if things stay the way they are... They will go to extra time as it's 1-1 in both legs. So the away goal has been cancelled. Nobody is marking Timo Werner. Where was Borgio? No, that was... Well, Sabitz is the man that's there. But where was Borgio? That was his man. 1-1. 70 minutes in. The Doc and Sabitz are not having the best of games out there. So I think I am going to bring on Elm Batch to be the advanced forward there. Try and mix things up a bit. I'm only going to sub the striker so far. Keeping things... Maybe we'll go a bit more direct, maybe. We'll just change the more direct passing. Go slightly higher tempo. We'll only change that and see if we can grab another goal. 73 minutes. As soon as our chains go through, we have a highlight. Damjanovic beats his man, crosses it. Ali's there to Diaz. El Bach! Oh! He was the man that needed to be there. Six foot seven, but couldn't put it in the goal. 79 minutes. The next goal is going to be huge. If Atletico do score, we are pretty much out. As that is an away goal. Saul finds Griezmann. Takes a low shot. Hits the post. Oh, they are getting close. They are getting very, very close. Like I say, a goal for them. And it would be disastrous for us. As it's an away goal. Go short to Alonso. Back to Koke. So a lot of familiar names on Atletico's team. But that's going to go out for a throw. I've just shouted show some passion. I'm hoping that's going to be enough to get us a goal. But second half, Atletico Madrid have played a lot better than they did in the first. They get a lot more chances. I mean, we were dominating the shots, but I don't think they had anything of substance. I think Atletico, when they do get their chances, are pretty much taking them. But Borgio lumps it upfield and it's back with Atletico Madrid. Oh, I'm not, I'm not feeling good about this. I am not feeling good. It's a long highlight. It's all Atletico on the ball. Unless it's a counter-attack for us. I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit scared. Griezmann with a shot. And that is going out for a corner. It's all Atletico Madrid. It's all them. Saul, clean up the line, has another shot. Boys, we need to do something here. Something needs to change. Which you would think that I would make a tactical change, but I'm going to see this out at least till full time. Corner from Jimenez. Foyth, Saul, and Sabitza clears it away. It is all Atletico Madrid right now. And something needs to change if we're going to get a goal. But it's come up to full time, and it does look like we are going to go to extra time. 1 1 on the night. An exact same result as the game away from home. And we are going to go into extra time. So I'm going to say it's time for everyone to dig in. And we got one more sub to make. I think we actually get an extra sub, I think, in the Europa League if it goes to extra time. But Pavlak, you're on a buck in. I'm going to bring Cooper Miners on for you. Anybody else underperforming? Do we get another sub? Let's find out. No, we don't. We've only got the three subs. So only one sub. Cooper Miners coming on. I'm not sure if away goes count in extra time, but we shall soon find out. 96 minutes. Griezmann with a corner. I'm not sure if away goals count in the Europa League, but it'd be dangerous if they do get one. But it's disallowed. Oh, they are showing us. They, they are throwing. It's all Atletico Madrid. It's all a massive warning sign right now. It is all them. Half time and extra time. Nothing going on. No team talk. We go straight into the second half. No highlighted extra time. And it does look like we are going to a penalty shootout for the place in the semi finals. Of the Europa League. Who's the best of penalties? Well, we haven't got many good ones. Cooper Miners and Diaz are going to be up there as the top ones. So we'll swap those two round. Everything else is pretty much not the best, to be honest with you. But it's all luck of the draw now. It's all down to penalties. If we can get past that there to Madrid, we'll reach the semi-finals. Cooper Miners with an absolute poor penalty. That is not the start we needed in this penalty shootout. Griezmann 
Come on, we can do it. Angus can with a save. He's tuned up today. He doesn't normally save penalties, but hope this is the time for Angus Gunn to shine. Diaz, our second best penalty taker, and he puts it past the goalkeeper. One nil up on penalties, and it's Alonso that steps up for Atletico. Come on, Angus Gunn. You can do it. You've got it in you. Oh, he went the wrong way. He was unlucky there. They do equal it up. And it's Sabitza for Wolfsburg. I like that we're going first. At least we set the precedent. Sabitza, top corner for him. 2-1 up. Come on. We've got to all pray for Angus Gunn. Come on, Angus Gunn. It's all on you. Oh, he saves it again. Get in there, Angus Gunn. Two saves from him. And it's Ars that steps up. We could really take advantage if he scores from this. Oh, lovely in the corner. Low drive. And I think if they miss this, then they're out. So they have to score this penalty. Well, to, to stay in it, really. Saul steps up. He has to score. Angus Gunn. Oh, he went the right way. He went the right way. So now it's all on who's it going to be. Who's going to be the man to step up? Dam Janovic. If Dam Janovic scores this penalty... We are through to the semi-finals. Damjanovic steps up. Can he put us through? It's all on him. Oh, it's saved. Oh, you can't write this. Damjanovic, you had the chance. You had the chance. And now we're level again. Well, no, I think Torre's still got to score. So if Torre misses this, then they are out. So come on, Angus Gunn. Angus Gunn's got to save this to take us through. Oh, it's a fantastic penalty. And now it's sudden death. Oh, my word. Come on, Voith. The centre-back, please. Puts it in the net. <sighs> sudden death here. Any, it's all now on Angus Gunn again. They've got to score. And it's Jimenez that's going to step up for Atletico Madrid. Jimenez for Atletico. He's got to score to keep them in it. He does score the goal. <laughs> oh my god. We've had what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven penalties so far. No, six penalties. But for Hooven. Oh, that's a good one. That is the seventh penalty. And now Angus Gunn again has got to keep us in it. Christian steps up for Atletico for their seventh penalty. It's all on Angus Gunn. Can he save it to take us through? He gone! No! <laughs> Oh, he saved it. Oh, Borgio, come on, please. Yes, eighth penalty now. This is just ongoing. The drama continues. Probably the longest penalty shoot I've had in Football Manager. It's normally done by now. But Partly's going to step up for Atletico Madrid. Party for Atletico. Come on, Angus Gunn. You can do it. Steps up. Oh. That was weak. He could have got a hand to that. He could have got a hand to that. Muhammad Ali for our ninth penalty on the night. Can he score? He does. Oh, and it's all back on Angus Gunn again for the ninth penalty of the year. The goalkeeper's going to be taking penalties pretty soon. It's Sabili stepping up for Atletico. Sabili, come on, Angus Gunn. You can do it. Oh, it's put away again. And now for our 10th penalty, is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think it's 10th. I've lost count. Elm Batch. Oh, it's saved. It's saved. Oh, no. Not like this. Not like this. It's going to be Moreno for Atletico. Angus Gunn, you have to save us to keep us in it. And Atletico Madrid win the penalty shootout. Robbed, I tell you. Absolutely robbed. So we do go out in the quarterfinals. I'm going to say I can't fault the performance, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I think we were the better team there. But penalties, it took, what, 10 penalties to get to a result. And we crash out in the quarterfinals to Atletico Madrid. It's a tough pill to swallow, but that's the way things are. I, to be honest, it's all in batch. I don't blame in batch. I don't. Bl I blame Damjanovic because Damjanovic had the penalty to pull us through, and he missed. 
So we do crash out of the Europa League, knocked out in the quarterfinals. It wasn't to be. It was not to be. But that's okay because, you know, we're going to be in the Champions League next season anyway. So didn't even want to win it. Didn't even want to win it. So after all that drama, we can now purely focus on the Bundesliga. And we have an away game against Stuttgart to keep up our seven-point lead. Due to the midweek game and the fact we're already playing three days later, most of my team are absolutely knackered. So we've had a bit of a force rotation in some positions. Guns in goal, Fernandez, Foyth, Bissek and Borgio. Borgio's on 79%, but Gunter is injured. So he's going to have to play left back. Cooper Miders and Pavlak in the middle. Sabitza, Ojeda, Seegers and the Dock. We really do need to bounce back if we're going to get to the league title. We have to put our disappointment of the Europa League to one side. That's come and gone. We need to now focus on the Bundesliga title. So I'm going to say, I give a calm... Um, I'm going to give a calm... We'll just deny them. Because I don't want to say about, oh, we can secure Europa League place because we want Champions League. We're going for the title. I don't want to, you know, undermine their expectations. But a win today against Stuttgart will keep up the seven-point lead over Dortmund. And we've got a game against Dortmund coming up. So we need all the points we can get. Free kick from Cooper Miners. 16 minutes in. And it's over the bar. 20 minutes in. Bozio with a throw in. He is knackered out there. But I got no one to put that left back. Because my substitute left back's injured. I can't play him. So Bozio, you're going to have to do a job for me there. But Cooper Miners to Pavlak. Can he find anybody? He finds Ojeda there. Back to Cooper Miners. Keeping it in the midfield. Foyth is going to look for the pass. Goes back to Ojeda. Sabitza. Some lovely short passing going on here. Tried to find the dock. But he was cut out there. And Bonto Popolis. Oh, to cross in. There's nobody there. And <laughs> there's no one there. It's like the goal that Atletico Madrid scored. It was, it was on the other side. Nobody was there. It was, a, it was a free shot. Don't get me wrong. A fantastic goal. But Stuttgart take the lead. And Bontopolis. Who's marking him? Where's the right back? Don't know. Fernandez, where are you hiding? You should have been marking him. And we are 1-0 down against Stuttgart. Free kick. Vokins 37 minutes in. Find Burns and off. It's a long shot. And it sees it over the bar. It is all Stuttgart at the moment. Cut up to half time. It is all Stuttgart. We've had the possession. We've had no shots whatsoever to report. The Doc hasn't turned up today. He didn't turn up in the Europa League game. And he hasn't turned up in this game either. Show me something else in the second half. And I think I'm going to do the usual. Go a little bit more direct. Slightly higher tempo. We're not going to work balls into the box anymore. I want to just sort of hit dirty crosses. The reason I'm going to do that, I'm going to distribute the playmaker, is I'm going to bring the dock off and I'm going to bring Elm Batch on. I'm going to make him a target man if I can on attack. So we're going to go for the crosses and try and get a goal that way because clearly the way we're playing right now is not doing the business. And a loss today and the gap goes down to four points. Free kick from Vokins. 47 minutes in. Hangus gun off the line. It is just all Stuttgart. We haven't had a single chance to report. And we need something to turn this around. Another free kick from Vokins. It's all set pieces. But we do manage to clear it away. Only as far as Bernstorff though. He's got loads of room. Finds quarterly. Bernstorff. Loads of room. Hits the post. It's all Stuttgart. It's all them. We haven't turned up today whatsoever. 72 minutes in, I'm going to make some subs. Borsio's on 58%. I've got no one to put there. I've got no one to put there. I'm tempted just to bring on, like, I don't know, Fernand Damjanovic. Can, it, can you play there? No, not really. Well, we have Fernandez, you're going to have to play a left back because Borsio is on his knees. Anybody else underperforming? Sabitza's on a 6.3. We're going to bring Muhammad Ali on for him. But yeah, it's not been a good day today, is it? Not been a good day whatsoever. 75 minutes in and it's Stuttgart on the ball again. I think the Europe League's killed us. I think the fact it went to penalties, the fact we went on so long, has absolutely ruined this team. And Bonoptilis is in the box, has a shot. It's, is this all Stuttgart? 
we have our single chance in this game. 85 minutes, and again, I think we're just waiting for the second goal, to be honest with you. If we can steal a draw from this, it would be daylight robbery. Because Stuttgart have 100% deserved the win today. Played into the box. They're there again. Gun with a save. It's 2-0. As I say, we've just been waiting for that goal, really. It's been absolutely all Stuttgart. And we are. It's all falling apart. The wheels are coming off. We're out in the Europa League. We're losing in the league. It's all falling apart. And with this game, if we do lose, which I'm 99% sure we will lose, the gap to Dortmund goes to four points. And we go out. We have to play Dortmund away from home. So that's going to be an interesting game. We're going to have to come back for that. But it's a long shot. It's pff, We haven't had a single highlight in this game. It's been absolutely all Stuttgart. We haven't prepared for this at all. The Europa League just killed us. We we went to extra time. El Batch is through. He's offside. But it's a we haven't deserved to win this game. Every highlight has been for Stuttgart. We've had the possession. We just haven't had any shot. Well, they've had three clear-cut chances, Stuttgart. So they 100% deserve this victory today. But like I say, we are what? Nine points clear of fourth place with four games to go. I think we're going to make Champions League. That's the main thing. So we do go down 2-0 to Stuttgart. Very disappointing performance. Far from pleased with what I just saw from this team. Nobody was up for this game whatsoever. So we have gone... Well, we've lost that game, really. But Fernandez, we have to pay Cole 1.9 million. El Batch hasn't scored in ages. Fernandez has revealed my fury. Which, to be fair, is well-deserved because we played like absolute shit. But there we go. So we are still top of the league. But we're only four points clear of Borussia Dortmund. And we have to play them away from home coming up. So that is going to be an absolutely huge game. So I think what we'll do, we've only got four games to go. So we are 100% going to come back for the Dortmund game. And then depending on that result, we'll come back for either the last game. Well, we'll do Dortmund and Borussia Mönchengladbach as the last two games of the season. So regardless of what happens, we will find out next time if we are league champions or not. So we're going to skip over for two to Dusseldorf. So skip it over our former team. But we do come back for the away game against Dortmund. That could be huge. That is an absolutely huge game. We win that game, we are pretty much champions. If we lose that game, there's only one point in it. So long as they win and we win against, you know, our next games. But you do not want to miss the next episode, my friends. So we will conclude the season in the next episode with an away game against Borussia Dortmund. Four points clear with four games to go. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2019 content. We'll upload the FM19 Brexit Manager series every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 6pm GMT. And I will see you next time for the end of the season against Dortmund and Bruce Munch and Gladbach probably. We will find out next time if we will become Bundesliga champions. Thank you very much for watching.